Alrighty, day two of the 1920 season. We're here at the boat ramp. Just got the canoe in the water. Taking the jakes through this morning and the rifle. Same thing as yesterday. We're going to paddle to a spot. See if we can't find the pig. So I don't know if y'all can hear it. But if you listen, it almost sounds like rain. yesterday we probably covered seven miles between the canoe and just tromping and we already got another probably close to two and a half today so we'll let a buster get tired and we want to sit down in the, the easy chair uncle john made us and then we'll probably hmm. we'll probably stalk our way back to the boat after we sit for a couple of hours What's up, girl? What's up? What y'all doing? Y'all wet? You wet and nasty, ain't you? Alright, you go on. Y'all go do y'all thing. Go on. I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't got nothing for you. As I was saying, uh, <laughs> the dogs come out the first time out the palmettas. Need I spot around in my chair, had my gun up, safety off, come out that far uh, from shooting that lighter color one, that brown and white one. She, she looked just like a hog. <laughs> we, uh, I got the, uh, I got the guy's number off him. The, uh, off the collar I texted him just to make sure they look like they're healthy and everything they'd probably just start running them I figured I'd check just make sure he hadn't, hadn't lost no dogs I know it happens out here sometimes so but anyway that's uh I guess if I only had that ever happened once before I had old uh had a beagle come up on me one day and uh, it's kind of funny to watch her. She she sniffed me down. You can see her catch my scent. And she come back. 
uh, I don't reckon these uh, these went right by me the first time they come by you know upwind of me I guess and uh, they didn't sniff me and they ran they, they come and they hit the edge of the marsh which is kind of in front of me and uh and then they kind of come back down and work in the edge of the palmettos so they uh they're a lot quicker and quieter at it than I am that's for sure you know so we'll we'll see it'd be uh I'm tempted to see where them guys is at and where all they plan on running I don't want to uh I ain't got a thing in the world against them running dogs out here but I just don't want to be I feel like they kind of hurt my odds a little bit. I don't know. Hey, they might they might kick something up. Might not be no difference. I don't know. But uh, we might run into them back at the boat ramp. Maybe. I wonder where they launched them at. Wonder where they let them loose at. We'll see. Man, with this chase, they're pretty comfortable though. I'm digging. I'm digging the JX3. Once you, uh, oh, I think we might have some, some barking off in the distance. Be kind of cool if they got on a hog. Be kind of neat. It's a pretty morning though, and I'm getting a little bit of, uh, getting a little bit of breeze coming off this marsh I'm up here posted on the side of this kind of slope comfortable got plenty of water good way to spend the morning so that was kind of a rodeo they uh they bait up probably 200 yards southeast of me and uh I texted the dude, I said, hey, you know, your dog's bait up, you, you know, I, I said, I don't want to butt in or nothing, I said, but I don't mind helping, he said, I think we can get to them, I think, I don't know if they come in by boat or if they come in by foot, I'm inclined to think that they come in by boat, because I heard after I, right after they started baying, I heard a boat powering down, a little creek comes off the bayou, so I guess they slogged across the marsh, uh, they got to them, then you heard them squealing out in a gunshot, so I guess they went up there and stuck them, which is pretty cool. So, uh, that's definitely a, uh, a fun morning, just, uh, posting up nice and lazy in the JX3, watching the sunrise and enjoying this cool breeze and listening to some real hunters getting it done. So, I tell you what, I'd give all this stuff up. I'd give this JX3 up. I'd give the saddle stuff up. I'd give all the toys up if I could. Uh, if I could move through the woods as quick and quiet as a dog, that'd be something right there. If you could combine the maneuverability and the sense of smell, just 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 a dog with a rifle, wouldn't be no hogs left in the swamp. But uh. On a pragmatic note, it's about 8 o'clock. I think this show's wrapped up. and uh, I don't really see much point sticking around here. I feel like, I mean, them dogs, I think they work this little finger that I'm on pretty good. And uh, I chose a good spot. So... <laughs> uh, that was actually my plan. I was going to sit here for a little bit and then I was going to walk the perimeter, do kind of what they were doing. And uh, I was just going to sit here, rest and recuperate first before I did it because it gets thicker the further back in you go. I figured I might catch something moving between the marsh and the palmettos. I figured if I sat here and, you know, got tired of sitting ready to move, I'd go that way. But I'm thinking now it's about 8 o'clock. I don't want to stay here until it gets hot. I got a couple hours left. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mosey on up out of here. I think I'm going to go, if I go back to the west, 
Um, I think I'm going to go up north and follow. It might be too wet, but the water's pretty low. But I think I can follow the edge of the timber and uh, the marsh. I think. I think that would be a good spot. There's always good hogs. And all this place is loaded up with hogs. This is a pretty good area for them. So I think we're going to do that. And, uh, as much as I hate to leave this breezy, breezy goodness, I think I'm going to go start tromping. And then uh, I'm kind of curious to see. I think the winds are going to be 8 to 10 miles an hour. So getting that canoe back might be a little bit of a chore. It ain't a real big body of water though, so maybe I can hug the shore and stay out the wind and fight my way back and get something for lunch and decide if we're gonna come back out and do it again this evening. And that kind of, to be honest, that kind of put the put the fire in me, listening to hogs squealing. So, uh, we'll, we'll see. I am pretty tired, but I'm pretty whooped. I didn't, I was running a little tardy this morning. I was about 20 minutes behind schedule. I didn't get up to about 4.15, 4.20. And, uh, but it wasn't too bad because I'd already had, I had my boots on the dryer. I had my clothes washed and dried waiting on me. So, I already had the car packed, had the stand and the gun and the truck canoe on the roof, so I still got a pretty good start on it. But, uh, we will see. It's cool to hear them. I've, I've seen people run dogs, but I ain't never seen it that up close and personal. Uh, I ain't never had, I ain't never pet the puppy dogs and heard them bay up on a big old nasty pig 20 minutes later, maybe. So, anyway. Let's go see what we can do. Now ain't that just the prettiest little walla you ever seen? Tucked up here in this thick shit. you can still smell the pigs in it and unless the mud's still wet on the trees in my experience you're just wasting your time we're gonna keep slipping got some palmetto fruits these don't do every year but hogs will eat them and there's there's plenty of them around here still green and there's no telling that wallow when them berries they were to ripen up. Looks like some of them already ripened up and fell off or been eaten. You can actually see underneath. You can see some dirt scrapings where they've been eating the ones as they get ripe. So this this would be nice if you just seen fresh sign like this is something you'd set up on. This ain't 20 yards from that uh from that walla. So you'd see something like this, a good food source. You'd see a wallow, you're in some thick cover. You'd post up here. Oh, I've just never had no luck doing it, unfortunately. Yeah. 